Today, I'm going to show you how to create anchors and place them for visitors to navigate your site. What's up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino from Creatively Nino. I got a tutorial for you today on how to display anchors to direct your visitors to important sections and information on your Wix website. So let's go ahead and jump into this and get started. All right, so right here, you wanna go ahead up to your ad and you wanna come down to menu and anchor. Once you go to menu and anchor, you head on over to the anchor section of here and then you just go ahead and drag on this anchor out, all right? So this will be your anchor and then also you can create anchor menus. I'll actually go into that in a few. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this anchor and drag it on out here to, let's say right here. All right, so this anchor one, which I'm going to label it as gallery, okay? And so now that I had labeled this gallery anchor, now I can drag this anchor anywhere on my site and it will not view on my website, all right? So this is gonna be a invisible position marker that you can place anywhere on your site and you can link to them making a great way to direct your visitors to important sections and information on your site. All right, so basically we're gonna go ahead and do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to click on this anchor here and then what we're gonna come here up to is click duplicate. So we're gonna duplicate that anchor and then we're gonna drag that anchor down all the way to my contact section. All right, so I'm gonna drag it up to like right here and I'm going to label this sign up anchor. All right, so now that it's labeled sign up anchor, now let's go ahead and link these things together. So I'm gonna bring this down just a tad bit here. And also I'm going to share with you guys how I made this back to the top. So stay tuned for that. All right, so how we do this is we come over here to link. Definitely check out my buttons tutorial. I have that in the top right hand corner as I speak right now. Definitely go ahead and check that out. See other things about what you can do about buttons. It's very useful and very helpful. All right, so let's go here. We're gonna go to anchor, okay? And then we're going to go to this page, all right? And then we're going to click on gallery anchor since we're doing that for the gallery button here that I have labeled. All right, so we're gonna click done here. And then also we're gonna go up to sign up and then we're gonna do the same thing for anchor, home this, all right? And then we're gonna do sign up anchor, boom. All right, and then also I want to go ahead and show you guys how you can make an anchor menu. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over just a tad bit and how you get to this tool right here is you come up to tools and then you just click on toolbar, all right? What you're gonna do here is you're gonna go click add, it's gonna come back up to the same position as it was, then we're gonna go to anchor menus, okay? So anchor menus is right here, and as you can see, we have these different types of anchors here, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this one out and just change the color of it. All right, so now it has pinned to our side here, uh, so we can actually change the pin location of this uh, just to bring it out just a tad bit more. Uh, we're going to do like uh, 65. All right. And then we're going to change the color of it. So we're going to change that design. We're going to customize that design. It gives you different options here of customizations. So I like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and click white for this. And then the one that is clicked, we're going to click as red. All right. Awesome. So every time that we go through here, we're going to see a change, all right? Uh, a change in that dot. As you can see the location, we have changed and then also we'll be down here for the sign up. All right, so right now this anchor menu has the top position, then we have the gallery and then we have the sign up here. All right, and if you can't see that, we can actually go ahead and display it in writing as well. So let's go ahead and display that. All right, so top of page, gallery anchor, and then sign up anchor. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the dots, all right? And then I'm gonna place it back into my position I had it before, 65. All right, so that is how you can do it. You can also create an animation here for it. And then also you can manage the menu, okay? So you just click manage, and then you could take off top of the page and then just only have gallery and anchor, and it will definitely adjust 
uh, accordingly. And then also you can add a new anchor just from this manage, uh, manage menu for your anchor. All right, so top of the page is the same thing as what I have here. And so how did I do this? Okay, so I'm gonna get to that right now. So how did I create a button that is customized to get back to the top of the page? All right, so what I did here was I just went here, customized my button how I want it. And then I came up here to duplicate, I clicked duplicate. And then what I did here was I right clicked on here and I said, pin to screen. Okay, right click on that and then say pin to screen. All right, once you pin that to screen, you'll come over here, you'll have this pin to screen option here. I have this as an offset of 90 and 77 here uh, for the right bottom corner. All right, and then also we can go in here and click on the link. And as you can see, it says top and bottom of page. We're gonna click top, all right? So all of our visitors are going to go straight back to the top. Uh, just so that it'll be easier navigation to show you guys how these anchors work. All right, so let's go ahead and click off of that. And then let's go ahead and preview this bad boy. So let's go ahead and preview. All right, so this is not as set up as nicely, you know, but just to give you guys a little taste of how this actually works, you just click gallery. This will scroll it down to the gallery updates here. As you can see, all of my blog information is coming through. And if you wanna learn about how to do this with your uh, gallery images here, uh, definitely go check that. I'll put it in the right-hand corner as I speak right now, but basically this is how I created it. And it will give you a full tutorial on how you can use your Wix blog and you can use your Wix blog in different ways. Uh, I really do enjoy this and it's a little bit of an intermediate advanced level. So if you don't know anything about coding, I would say uh, definitely learn a little bit more. Um, but if you are a beginner, I would say I highly recommend you go to my website, check out my website, and I'll have that information there for you guys to walk through that video while you're creating the code. All right, so that is that. And then also you can see here that my button has adjusted itself. So we're gonna just go back to the top. All right, and then we're going to click sign up. So sign up, we go all the way down. As you can see, our button, our anchor menu here has updated. And also we're down here at the bottom of the page here. And we are set on the sign up anchor. All right, so let's go back to the top. And that's how you have it there, guys. All right, and just a little bit more information just before you go. <laughs> before you go, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you come up to your menu here, you can actually go into this manage menu and then you can add a menu item here, all right? So you can add a menu anchor here. So you can just click anchor and then home this, and then also just do the same setup as you did before as a button. It's pretty neat and I really enjoy it. It's definitely useful for a quick turnaround. And if you guys wanna know more about how to create your own anchors with code, definitely let me know in the comments below because I can create a spin up a quick tutorial for that because it's very easy and simple if you wanna just go ahead and scroll to a certain element, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely give it a shot. And if you have any questions, like I said, drop them below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, ciao.